What's up, Paul Fitness here, and today we're gonna to teach you how to properly do the dumbbell chest fly. We're gonna show you how to fix that form, so let's get into it. All right, guys, I simply love this exercise, and you guys will too, especially if you wanna put some mass on that chest. Dumbbell pressing, bench pressing is great, but if you really wanna put on mass, you really gotta extend the muscle, well, there's a good load on it, and here you can really extend, put a ton of load on this chest, and you get a fantastic contraction, and you can really develop it. The only downfall is you can really hurt yourself bad if you do this incorrectly. Because you're really extending those arms, you're putting your chest in a very compromised position. So follow these cues we're gonna give you, and we're gonna teach you how to do this safely, and to put on as much muscle as possible. But we're gonna start with the three common mistakes, as you do. All right guys, common mistake number one is not knowing how to properly extend those arms. So the key here, I'm gonna put my dumbbells down for a sec, is to really get a good stretch. Now what you never wanna do is extend fully, because the second I do this, I'm gonna transfer tension from my chest onto my elbow. That's how you get a lot of elbow pain, and if you guys are in that camp, that's gonna suck. You're gonna have to watch your how to fix your tennis elbow now video. We're gonna link that down below, so if you have that, feel free to watch it. But you don't wanna be watching that video. We wanna teach you the good form, so there's no injuries. So the key is you want it almost straight, but you can see when I'm here, I still have tension on my bicep and my chest, and that's what we want. We don't want this transfer, right? So we're getting a big extension, really stretching out where we're comfortable and extending this chest. Now a big mistake as well is extending too far. When you extend too far, you're gonna hyperextend a muscle. When you hyperextend a muscle, it puts it in a very dangerous position because it has the ability to snap on the way back up, right? So we wanna have it where it's fully loaded, I still have a good contraction here, and I have the power to pull up from that movement. So a common mistake people do to avoid this potential injury is do a really big bend, and they're just gonna end up doing this. And as you guys can see, that's basically a bench press. We're not trying to bench, we're trying to fly. So the key is to stretch, and you're pulling up, and really squeeze in from those elbows, contract that chest, and that's how you're gonna get it. You can see the difference between that contraction and me trying to squeeze my hands together, where I'm gonna end, ultimately end up just squeezing my bicep. So as you guys can see, elbows, contraction, versus hands, not so much, right? Huge step, implement it, we're gonna show you how it looks. Mistake number two, guys, is either using too much weight or too little weight. This is pretty much with every single exercise. Far too many people will grab like a 50 pound, they'll just go down, they'll do like some half reps, or they'll just turn it into the point where they are doing that dumbbell bench press like Josh was just talking about. On the other hand, a lot of people will just be afraid of injuring themselves, so they'll grab 10 pounds, they'll have to do 80 reps to get something out of this exercise, and that's not beneficial, so avoid both of these common mistakes. Number three is improper body positioning. Okay, if your trunk's on in a good position, it's not gonna work out. If you're forward like this, if you have a hunch, you literally can't get a proper contraction. So you always wanna pull those rhomboids back, load that back, roll those shoulders back. You always want this position when you're down low. You really wanna lean that head back, open up, and then this way you're gonna get a maximal contraction, as you can see. I'm literally priming myself for that. So you see a lot of people kind of awkwardly with their torso push forward and they can't get a contraction at all. You'll see, because like, you're inhibited by the anterior delt here. So it's really important to just simply to kind of get that curve in your spine. It's a very small move, but it will make all the difference. Now I'm gonna hit you guys with a little bonus. 3.5, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but it's all about the contraction. So the key isn't so much to touch the dumbbells together. As you can see here, I can touch my hands together and not get so much of a contraction. Instead, focus on squeezing your pectorals together. So you literally wanna just focus on this as opposed to just moving your hands. If it's just your arms, you're not gonna do anything. I can clap, get some contraction, but not as much as I want. So the key is you're envisioning that you're pushing those elbows together, because that's stemmed here, and you're able to actually kind of power into that pec. As you can see here, it's all about that squeeze. Milk every rep, pack that chest full. This is a lighter exercise. It's all about that contraction and really slow negatives on that stretch. You're coming up, power. That's why I don't love these. They develop the chest. They've been a huge tool for me. If you guys also want, we have a tutorial on how to do this with cables. We'll link that also down below. But now we're going to do you the full kind of how to do this exercise. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, and here's the full tutorial. So you want to grab dumbbells you can comfortably handle. You want to push back, drive your scapula into the bench, drive your feet into the ground. Okay, nice comfortable position. You want to start with your arms to the point where they're almost locked out but slightly bent. Okay, bring it all the way down. Big stretch, big stretch. And then squeeze your elbows together. Okay, not the hands, the elbows. Woo! All the way down. And elbows together. Get that maximum contraction on the chest. That's how it's done. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you guys want to learn how to do other exercises just like this, we have a free form guide you guys can download. First link in the description below. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.